Why historically have you been hesitant to get involved in like basketball personnel decisions when, you know, it seems like you're, I mean, literally as qualified as anybody based on your body of work? I don't get involved in the X's and O's. Um, I empower people that do understand the X's and O's. And if they're not, if I can't trust them, then then they're not the right person for the job. And so, like, I, I can't deal with people who know something's coming down, you know, the street, and then they try to downplay it till it hits me in the face, right? Like, I want to hear, tell me the good, tell me the bad. Yeah. There's no reason to be afraid of me. We can work through any kind of issue as long as there's transparency and communication. And they know that ultimately I, I am accountable for everything that happens in this organization. I don't, you know, throw anybody under the bus. <laughs> so, you know, that I, um, you know, the hardest thing for me to, to be involved with is when we have to trade a player. But um, there are some front offices that would leak stories about why a certain player should be traded or that they're lazy or they're overweight so that they can take some of the heat off themselves when they do make that trade. We would never do that. We are always straightforward. We understand the rules of the game and you know that, that players can feel good about coming here and being part of something um, that they know they'll be supported. And you're also known for not nickel and diming players too. In, in fact, you're actually proud of, of them when you know they've earned the big contracts through you guys. There's um, somebody that's out there writing a book and um, he said to me that I have a reputation of, of um, running a bare bones organization <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. Like we've paid a luxury tax the last few years. Like, like how does that equate to how the Lakers operate? Except that someone's trying to create a false narrative about, um, you know, um, I guess me doing things on the cheap. If you want to call this bare bones organization, I like to think it that we're efficient, that we don't have a lot of waste and uh, I'm not gonna spend needlessly. When the young players that were making no money like Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura, when they got their deals, how ridiculously happy she was that these guys got what they were worth. There was no like, go back, go back and counter at a lower price. The business brain was completely overwhelmed by her character and her character and her values was these guys are fantastic and integral to the success of the greater organization. And, she, and they're good people. And so her genuine joy that these guys got paid, it speaks to how beautiful a person she is. One of your top lieutenants, Tim Harris, once said, you use your authority in a responsible and cerebral way. <laughs> uh, what do you think that means? <laughs> that means I don't panic and that you know any any problem can be solved it may not be easy but there's always a way to figure out what the next right step is in what ways can you be tough um, you know people not living up to their you know potential I can't stand wasted talent that seems like a crime to me so, you know, uh, people that are kind of uh, winging it don't do their homework. I, I don't do well with that. How would you describe her work ethic? Tireless. It's not a job you punch out of. It's not like, fixed all the pipes. 
Now I'm going to go home and have a beer on my deck. It's, no, it's the phone rings all the time. And I don't know if she ever can put her feet up and say, done with work for the day. So it's, it's just a it's just a tireless work effort. And it's, it's a willingness to just be the buck stops there. You know, it's, you, you can only go so far up the ladder. I feel like she's, she's the top of the food chain there and it's gotta be exhausting. I am definitely a person that if you're gonna do something, do it right, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, really throw yourself behind what whatever it is that you're doing be in the moment. I'm a horrible multitasker. So like, I'd rather do one thing really, really well and be completely satisfied than slice myself up and kind of get a C grade in a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. That isn't satisfying to me. I'd much rather be completely focused and you know, pay all my attention and accomplish a goal.